Okay, thank you everyone. Um, so I'll keep it relatively short, but um, I'm always very, very happy to have this Peace Road event. It's something that I, I very much look forward to every year uh, for a lot of reasons, but one is um, really the kind of vision and the message behind the Peace Road. And, um, you know, one thing that we always do when we're preparing for the Peace Road is really put a lot of thought into the Symbol the symbolism that we want to try to convey because we're very much aware that it's a very symbolic event, right? What we're doing is we're trying to symbolically bring together two different parts, two different beliefs that are in conflict, and that's what the walk is meant to represent, right? The walk is really meant to represent walking from two different ideological views that have conflict in the past, that have led to violence, there's still tension, and symbolically trying to bring those two sides together, right? And that's, you can very much see that that's what we did today. We started the Catholic Church, and we walked over to the Church of Ireland, right? Um, it's a very simple symbolism, but I think in its simplicity, it's very powerful. Um, and uh, thinking about Ireland's situation, thinking about past, for those of you that were with us in Derry, we got a lot of really first-hand accounts of how the trouble started and some of the challenges that that city went through um, during that kind of troubled history. But we see that really through the Good Friday Agreement, we see through kind of the current history of Ireland, that Ireland as an island is mostly peaceful. It's, you know, economically prosperous, both North South. And one thing that always um, very much I'm happy to see is when I came up today, I'm driving up the M1, and if I blink, I'll miss the little border sign, the very small sign that says, Welcome to Northern Ireland. And usually, even then, uh, someone's kind of graffitied it or try to make it really hard to read. Right? So, half the time I'm driving up the M1, I don't even know that I've crossed the border. Right? So, it's a very soft and we can see that's really hard for the kind of larger powers that be, like the EU and the UK, to figure out how to deal with it, right? Because it's hard to have a soft border when you're trying to create strong divisions. Um, but that's almost a, a good problem. I feel like that's a good example of Ireland being a good example to the kind of wider organizations and geopolitical forces that are trying to create more division in Ireland. So, um, but the other symbolism uh, relates to the actual vision of the Peace Road. Because the vision of the Peace Road isn't to just walk between kind of two symbolic areas, right? It's, it's not just the symbolism of the Peace Road. Actually, the Peace Road real vision from our founder, uh, Reverend Sun Moon and his wife, Akjahan, is to actually create a physical transportation infrastructure that means that someone can go from Santiago, Chile to the Cape of Good Hope, right? By land or, you know, driving from one to the other, right? Because we're talking about a vision of a world where people are free to move from one space to another. So we can imagine, you know, a lot of people when they get older, when they retire, they'll rent a mobile home. This was always a dream of my dad, by the way, just rent a mobile home and just live in it and go everywhere, right? You know, and uh, originally from America, so a lot of places you can go. But still, it's, you can imagine in the future people living almost a nomadic lifestyle if, they're, if it's possible. But it's obviously not possible in this world today. And the reason it's not possible is because of real geopolitical challenges, real problems, real conflict. So in order to get to a world where that kind of trip would be possible, it's not, it's not really the road itself or the bridges that we need to build. It's not like the improvements in, let's say, train transportation or energy costs or any of that stuff. The real problem is the actual conflicts that prevent that kind of movement of people, right? 
So when we talk about the Peace Road, I just want to kind of always bring it back to that grander vision of a world where there is no conflict. That's the true message of the Peace Road, is that we want to get to, we want to build a world where we can always move across borders, where we can move from one place to another freely, to visit family, to have new experiences, to um, <coughs> evolve as people. So, um, you know, what we do today is, is very symbolic, and in many ways it's on a small scale, but it's a global event, right? It's something that people are doing around the world, and all things have to start small. All visions have to start kind of step by step. Um, but just the, the real message I just wanted to share, to remind everyone, is that grander vision kind of world where people are free from conflict and free to kind of move around, free to travel, free to meet people. And what it would take to build such a world is something I hope everyone can kind of think about, reflect on, um, and you know, start coming up with good ideas on how to do that better and how to improve that. So that's my, uh, those are my kind of starting thoughts for today. Thanks again, everyone, for coming, and I'll hand it back to the MC. Um, to our